in today's video, I'm going to show you how I install a GFCI breaker protect protector on my Magnum MMS 1012. This is the process. I took the covers off. This is the original one that came has a GFCI breaker. And this is the one that came without a GFCI breaker. The panel was panels like this. You know, it doesn't have any cut to indicate where the GFCI breaker uh, face panel have to, you know, display. So what I did, I decided to go to the store. Um, before that, let me show you how the original looks like. This is, this is the original. This is how it looks like. A GFCI breaker for a Magnum inverter charger. Okay? So, I hope you can see this. And, uh, closely. So, it has a, a red light indicator right here to show if the breaker trip. It's about 15 amp outlet. So this is the wiring in here. There is a label inside that shows you exactly what you do. The black wire is the hot wire. The hot wire in and the white is the AC in. And the green is the AC ground and the red is the AC out and the black and white is the AC neutral. Okay? Well, neutral out. So, let's get back to you guys have seen a series of videos into this um, um, application here for my 12 volt. And uh, it comes with a wire for this one for the charging, the AC charging. It is as a, a connector, twist, twist connectors there. And if you look at it, the same wire in here was just, I have to put it together. And this is a, a 14 gauge wire. And guys, you'll see, we can just look exactly what there. All the indicators here. It says uh, 20 amp breaker for the AC in. It takes 20 and 15 amp. Sorry. 15 amp, you can see right there. Is the AC out. So I went to the store, my local hardware store. And got myself a GFCI breaker. If you don't know this, you're supposed to be able to find them in your bathroom, your kitchen, and uh, uh, outlets for outside your house. And you can tell you out here exactly, yeah, for kitchen, bathroom, and out outlets outside. This is a. Um, this is a NEC required ground fault protection. So you need this one on any of these application I just mentioned. So this is a GFCI breaker. I try to find a black one. I, 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 ch I check online for Magnum. It's one person that has something like that nature. But the plate is white. And my inverters are black. Because of that. They want a $75 for this uh, little guy that, um, I'm not saying it's not important. It's important, but is it really what binds a $75 of that breaker? You know more, how much I paid for? It's $16 at the hardware store. Uh, my local hardware store is a $16 out of $75. If you want, you can Google it and see for Magnum. A GFCI breaker so what I'm gonna do here you guys we're gonna just replicate exactly how the system is wired like this the only problem you can see the plate is still the same like this one they're all the same but the problem is I have to alter this one if I can able to cut something of this nature on here with a drumlin if that's what it's called but i don't have one 
I don't know if I can able to design and cut something of this. I can fit this exactly here. I can make a copy of this to this one here. Then we are back on business. But uh, that being said, this is a kind of critical. I have to drill a hole right here if you see it to put a screw alongside this one here. For me, just I have to do a template. I use this as a template to design this one here. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel and see how we're going to go about this. Am I going to do this if I don't have the tool to cut this guy? Well, I don't think so. Because if I messed up on this one, then I already screw up the entire thing. Because what happened, Magnum... Only sell these things in a package. It comes with the entire package. So if you mess with anything or you don't have certain parts, like these uh, um, battery terminal covers, remember when I got this one, they came in, bro they broke. So if you can see right here, they're broken. And the black one was already shattered. So I just let it go. I called Magnum and asked them if I can buy this from them. They told me there's no way they can sell it to me because it only comes with a package installation kit. So I was like, cool. If that's be the thing, then um, I'll just leave it the way it is and it's fine. So the other issue is this one, which I can able to copy and mount this thing exactly with the GFCI breaker I got from the store is it the same let's see what a ah, little bit different a little bit different but this one is kind of fat a um, little bit different but if I want to install this thing it's gonna be right here it's gonna go right in here and set up the entire process and get this thing all get done and we're gonna terminate this uh, process and get this cover designed and put it back there but these are all the ways you can go about it just wire get a hard wire right here let this cover stays right here the way um, the cover was this one. You don't have to worry for GFCI. Then you have an input here and an output here by using a guy like this. So this is a MIMA. A MIMA. If you see it here, it says MIMA. They're expensive um, stuff. Okay, let me see if I can able to get it clear. With the lighting system here. I hope so. Anyone that does it, you see the MIMA uh, 5-15R. They're expensive machines, uh, um, equipment. But anyway, this one cost me about um, $10.75 to get one of these. Which I can able to um, use a 14 gauge wire that they use. This one here, 14 gauge wire connected to this guy here will be my output from here, down here. Instead of cutting this plate and messed up the entire plate. And I'm not going to have a replacement how to get this one back. I can let this one be open like this if I messed up with this one. That would be a disaster. It would be a hole. I have to put probably a black duct tape wire, uh, duct, duct tape on this one to cover that. That makes the inverter look really bad or ugly. So, there are two choices here. What am I going to do? Am I going with this? Cover this thing all the way this way. Or use a GFCI breaker like that one. But if I messed up on this, I can't get this split easily. Unless if I have a 3D printer, am I able to make one of these and practice on it? Or else, I can use this wire, which is a 14-gauge wire, 
which cost me about $17.99 on one of my local store. And you will see it is a 14.3. Okay? 14.3 wire, which is a very good wire. And um, the water resistance can take up to about uh, 90 degrees Celsius or 600 volt. So I can able to use this one, fabricate this guy right here, and get my out, outlet here, which this cable that came with this inverter that has um, the charging, the charging input, input charge, is a, is a 16 gauge wire. Okay, it's a 16. That being said, I just have to grab one of my computer desktop wire which i have a bunch of them cut this end off cut this end off and utilize this plug we are back on business just like exactly how that one was the only thing we're not gonna have a gfci but it's gonna be a wired hard wired these are the other stuff you want to do this can keep these inverters the way they are like this one is already altered if i can have a plate like this i can cover remove this gfci and connect this one to my breaker box so I can just use two breaker box the reason why I have to use a two breaker box because these uh, inverters they are in face they're not out of face they're in face so you cannot draw 120 and 120 from each or 110 110 from each because you can do it so you have to run load independently one is split the load Critical loads, other one here, other one over there. But very good application, whatever you want to do, you can parallel them. So, I will show you how this is done. And stay tuned for more to come. Live on this channel, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. We're going with this. Or, we're going without this one. Or, stay with the cover and go hardwire right here which is the, it's already indicated here, okay? And a strain relief here, I need to get one of these. I went to the store, but it's already closed. So I have to take this one off and put one of these to keep the, uh, the strain off from the wire. So if someone yank it, it's not gonna go bad or broke this entire connectors here with the twist nuts, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. When everything is done, then I can get you back on business how to go about this. JW Solar USA, subscribe and share to the video. Bye for now.